of our services are designed to minimize pain and maximize happiness. How can I help you enhance yourself today? Well, I'm not at liberty to disclose any of our patients' personal motivations or services. You understand, of course. But, gosh, it, it could be anything, really. Something simple or a, a total reconstruction. Why you're here doesn't really matter to me. It's just important that you're satisfied when you leave. Yes, of course, sure. <laughs> Enhances proprietary registered technology is absolutely the best in the settled systems. There is a reason we've been the number one most trusted brand for reconstructive and plastic surgery for two decades running. Come back anytime. As you can see, traffic is good. The sales keep climbing. And there are two locations in New Atlantis? Yes, and the sales in the first didn't dip at all when the second store opened. Impressive. Times change, but one thing's constant. People need coffee. I need to report back, but this is very encouraging. Excuse me, I am meeting with a client. Every time I've come here, there's a line for coffee. Start making free phone calls. If you want a coffee, see the barista. <laughs> there's no Terra Brew back home, but maybe that needs to change. Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Hi there. Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. Welcome to Whetstone. If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. The general term? A sharpening stone for knives. The kind of knives that cut the most delicious meat in the settled systems. This Whetstone, though, is the best restaurant you've ever eaten at. If you like a perfect steak, you're in the right place. You must be joking. I have an exclusive contract with the Trade Authority. It's all shipped in from Offworld. And no, I'm not divulging the planet of origin. Why wouldn't you?
Hi, mister. Nice to meet you. You can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Or maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You are the best! I will meet David. It's going to happen. Please tell me you're not here to see Mr. Barron. Welcome to SSNN. David's amazing. And I hear he's single. seen something interesting, let me know. If it pans out into a full story, you'll be compensated. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. A cog in the machine. If you mean literally, Nadia Mufaz, head researcher of the office. So, if we got any facts wrong, I'm the one who files your complaint into the Shredder. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. I can't promise you that. If your story checks out, your name may not be in the final copy. But I have the feeling you might be one day. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. Really? You sure? The well's a pretty dangerous place. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. Who do I look like, David Barron? Yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. Credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing and how things are in the well. Really can't thank you enough. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. We're short staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention, there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. You certainly get around. I'm surprised that branch has any customers left the number of times it's been held up. But I thought the Rangers had finally managed to get a handle on it. I heard there was a standoff. That true? I hear the robbers are provided free of charge. All part of the service. 
What happened to the robbers? The Shaw Gang? You did what? I mean, you're well spoken, but a hostage negotiator? I'll do some research and make sure that checks out. These things are often messy. Any customers or Gal Bank staff get hurt? That's really good news. Usually, well, it's a different kind of story. You were there. You were involved in resolving it. Any comment on the Freestar Rangers? Having another high-profile robbery in their own backyard is a bit of a black eye. Huh. That's really good to know. Stories like this always fire up public outrage and appetite. Thanks for the interview. And take this. talk and get paid, I spread the news, it's a classic win-win. Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual MO. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? I'd tip my hat, but I seem to have misplaced it. Your people pulled a hell of a thing off. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? By yourself? Uh-huh. We deal with fact, not fiction here. So try again. like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. My source is back. Here to report anything else? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Not going to say. I will never, ever give up my source. If anybody asks about you, they get the same answer.
I genuinely don't know how people like that can live with themselves. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, the Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? Imagine him getting away with that. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? For what it's worth, I'm rooting for them too. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh, maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? Next time, then. familiar. Where do I know you from? Oh, yes. Lynn mentioned hiring some brand new miner before she left for that job. I must have seen your picture in the contractor database. I take it this means the job's done then. Good to know. So what can I help you with? Well, after I book a job, Lynn meets with the clients to nail down the details. She negotiates the terms of the contract and even supervises some of our more important work sites. That woman never stops impressing me. As a former contractor, I'm surprised you don't know. We take on jobs that others won't, whether they're far away, extra tough, or just plain dangerous. And we always get the job done on schedule at a lower cost than our competitors. I book and process our jobs, manage the schedule on a broad scale, and interface with new clients. We're a small company, so a lot of us administrative types wear a lot of hats, as they say. We just picked up several more contracts. Risky stuff, if I'm being truthful, but we position ourselves to take advantage of jobs like that. Think asteroid mining and other tough jobs. The next few years are going to be interesting for Argos. I heard about that. I'm glad you're okay. I understand it could have been a lot worse if you weren't there.
We don't normally offer contractors the same benefits we offer full-time employees. But then again, our contractors don't usually face pirate attacks. Here, I'll compensate you for any medical treatment or other expenses you incurred as a result. As long as you don't attempt to pursue any outside litigation. We appreciate it, but in the future, it's probably not wise to engage in conflict with the pirates. Just give them what they want, and insurance will take care of the rest. In light of that incident, we're actively looking at increasing our security budget. So regardless, thank you. Take care out there. Argos is a great place to work. I'm not just saying that. <sighs> Looking forward to my vacation. I'm not really sure I can help you with anything. I don't deal with clients. Not to be rude, but I'd appreciate it if I could get back to work. is huge, like staggeringly huge. They need people like you, even with your brains. Yeah, I'm sure a junior assistant is viable. It's your foot in the door. Show initiative, positive attitude, and the sky's the limit. I could see how you made head cheerleader. Go Timberwolves! <laughs> You're looking yes, for a job too? I'll start somewhere. Infinity is always hiring. Always. Infinity is a top notch mega cult. Yeah, I'm just feeling. I'm going to be a glorified gopher. Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. Unfortunately, I'm not authorized to make appointments myself. All visitors are by appointment only, I'm afraid. We don't get very many visitors here. It really makes the day crawl by. If you'd like to look better, you're in the right place. How can I help you be the best you possible? 
You found it? Oh my god, thank you so much. I, I don't know what to say. You have helped a humble businessman. You, you saved me and my business. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. And, oh, I, I hope this hasn't tainted your perception of my wonderful facility. If you need any work done, I'll always be here. If you'd ever like to make a change, we're up to the task.